Start that fight all over again. Listen, Tom, if you're that rested up, we got other work to do. Work? Yeah. Let's round up the boys and get back to the mine as quick as we can. Why didn't you plug Benton while you had a good chance? Well, I did my part. I saved all our necks when I shot Gordon. Then Wolf lets Benton get away. Ah, stop whimpering like a couple of coyote pups. You got nothing to worry about. My man will get Benton. Benton's men riding out? It sure is. You seen anything of Fisk, Barry, or Green? When I got here, Fisk and Barry were fighting with Benton in the barn just before the roof caved in. Well, did they get out? No. There was no chance of helping them. Wolf, Benton wiped out the men you had planted in the barn. He set fire to her and hightailed out of town. You gotta get Benton, Wolf, if it's the last thing you do. I'll get him. Now listen, this plant's a murder charge on Benton he'll have a hard time getting out of. Now, it's up to you two to see Judge Knox and swear out a warrant. Butch, take Trigger and Rusty. See Haskell at Mud Lake. Tell him I want six of his best men. We'll get him this time. How's the repair work coming along, Salty? Fine. We'll be pulling plenty of high-grade ore out of that tunnel before Jim and the boys get back. Yeah, I wish they'd get back soon. You ain't thinking they won't. They won't. Unless Jim can clear himself of that murder charge. Oh, he will, all right. And then all his troubles will be hogtied. Not all of them, so. We've got to get enough ore into Panama to buy off Kirby's note. Chuck, we could do that in a month with the way the men are working now. Yeah. If Blake doesn't stir up any more trouble. Salty, I'm going to fire him. You can. Why? Because he's got a heap of friends among the men. We don't want them all to quit. Well, watch him. Come up for 
for? Anything wrong down there? No trouble down there, but there's going to be up here. Blake's holding a meeting. What's the meaning of this, Blake? That means I'm quitting. I'm all through, see? Miss Benton gives me and the rest of the boys here twice as much dough as we're getting now. Yes, He's yeah, right. Lower the lift. More men want to come up. Hold it. Now, wait a minute, men. The least you can do is wait until Jim gets back. And as for you, Blake... Just a minute. Listen, men, we're fools to be working yeah, for this kind of money. Hard. What about the oil we took out of this mine? What about us? Working in this blister and heat is worth twice as much dough as we're getting, and you know it. All you got to do is stick with me. I know things you men don't know. All you got to do is put a little pressure on Benton, and he'll give in. And unless Benton... Unless Benton what? Listen, we're taking a lot of high-grade ore out of here, and we ain't getting our share. You're being paid a salary to do a job. That's all you're entitled to. Yeah, well, when Kirby gets control of this mine... Oh, so Kirby sent you down here, huh? Men, if I can prove that Joe Kirby sent this man down here to break up this camp and get control of the mine, will you go back to work? Sure. Yeah, well, 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 all right. Every man that sticks with me will get a bonus as soon as we get out of debt. Now, come clean, Blake. Who sent you? Come on, come on, a little better. Come on, Jim. You can do better than that. What is this, a holy roller meeting? Close your fist. Now you got it. Now you got him going. Say, now listen. You tell me you're worried and we'll take a fall out of you. Oh, but Tom, look, do something. He's doing all right. What's the matter with him? I told you. I can feel that one myself. All right, Blake, tell these men who you're working for. I'm working for Joe Kirby. All right, on your way. Adios. All right, you men, that crack about the bonus still goes. Get to work. Come on, hey, Poncho, right, 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 right. you take some boys, see the Blake and his friends leave camp. They're practically on their way. Yeah, let's win. Hey, Solly. Our thing's down below. Fine. We've uncovered a vein in the old Aztec will run better than 1,500 to the ton. Hey, that's for sure. If we had some more miners, we'd soon pay off that debt. Wait a minute, Jim. What's the matter with Johnson? He's not running a full crew. So that's a good idea to him. Let's go. Come on, Mike. I think we better get down this ridge, don't you, Tom? Good idea. Think you can make it, Mary? Well, I'll try. But why? Is it a shorter trail to Johnson's? No, it's a little longer, but I think you might have some trouble jumping that cut that lies up ahead. All right. Better tighten your cinch. Benton, Moonstone and the Morgan girl. They're headed for this trail. Ride back down to where the trail narrows and take cover. Hey, Toon, what do you make of that cloud of dust down there? Looks like riders. Take a look. You better stay here. and a couple of wolves gang. They're land for us. Can you handle a cannon? Yes. What's the big idea? Get on off your horse. You'll find out. You better too, miss. Come on. Here they come. At the 
second they show, let them have it. There's the horses. Where are the riders? Right behind you, me omega. Stop your misery. Come on, rally your horse. Get up in there. Where are you taking us? Never mind, get on your horse. That's not good, that dog. Oh, hey, look. Now, John, there, there's a real corpse. What do you know about gold? What do I know about gold? I work in the mine in Cananea and in Magdalena. Over there, the gold was so, the yellow gold was so thick, we pick it up like the whip. Why and didn't you stay there then? Why didn't I stay? What do you know about the gold? Just as much as you do about Dobie. Yeah. All you know about the gold, what you got in your toots. You think that's good, or wait you see what we take out of this new vein we're opening up. There's a sample. Don't, none of it look any good to me. They, they come to the gym in the tombstone with the, the wolf. The wolf, look at three wolves with them coming, huh? Oh, they let let, let, let's win, huh? Come on, let's go. Well, you catch all that wolf gang, huh? Now we're gonna have a big hanging up fiesta. <laughs> Not yet, Pancho. We're gonna put them in the ice box, let them cool off a little bit. Keep them well guarded. <laughs> didn't I tell you gonna catch you sometime, eh, Butch? Oh, <laughs> shut up, bro. <laughs> I wish you didn't oh, say God. that. Come on, oh, let's win. What'd you find out? Haskell claims Butch, Trigger, and Rusty never got to his place. They must have. I don't think so. I rode back by the funeral range and found Rusty's hat near Big Rock. Been a lot of horses milling around there and I picked up Butch's gun, too. Guess they ran into some of Benton's riders. Likely find them over to his camp. Prisoners. Well, they won't be there long. Come on. Take this powder into the West Drift where they're drilling, will you, fellas? What do you think we are, pack mules? Pat and I got another job, got to be done right away. I'll try to get it done. Let's take it up. Start throwing her up, boys. Ah, you're wasting time. The muscles you got in them feet, you can kick it in with your little toe. All right, Davis, take your deputies and serve that warrant on Ben. That'll bring him out in the open. Well, what are you going to do? When you're arguing, we'll sneak up and open fire. Well, give me a chance to get in the clear before you start your battle. Don't be afraid. Once. Better go in and tell the boys to come out and be ready for trouble. Hello, Davis. What's on your mind? Benton, in the name of the law, I arrest you for Wait a murder. Minute. And whose authority are you making this arrest? I have the authority of the deputy marshal of Panama, sworn in by the town marshal. These two men are my deputies. Aren't you aware that the town marshal's authority does not extend beyond the city limits? Davis and some men just rode up. Jim, won't you? Davis? What does that Elbury want? Trouble. Time's a wasting. I'll give you just three minutes to get off of here. You'll regret this, Benton. There's still law in this country. And that's what I intend to prove before I'm through. Now, go on. What do you want, Jim? Oh, they're trying to frame me with Why didn't you invite him to get out and eat dinner with us? Take it, Rusty. 
knew it would show up. Come on. Okay, Mary. There's that little girl headed for the tunnel. Let's scare him. Mary, let's get out of here. I'm out of ammunition and they're right behind us. Back of us, and he can see us better than we can see him. <laughs> 